welcome guys, I'm Excessive Brutality, this is Excessive Gamer bringing you my thoughts on what really has become one of my favorite ever horror games. Now, I've got a bone a bit with a couple of, uh, couple of people, but I'm gonna tell you a couple of the scores. Actually, I can, I can tell you the score. Metacritic scored at 72. That's not too bad. But when you see the user reviews, there's a lot of 10s and a lot of 9s. IGN scored it a 5.8, calling it mediocre, a lack of sub subtlety and reliance on boring horror tropes. Smothers any good ideas Leo Fear does have. This is a funny, funny little thing. They've got the, the, the positives and the negatives. And on the negatives, they have uh, boring tropes, overused ideas. I agree on the overused ideas. They do try to rely on the same kind of scares uh, several times. This one, I, I don't quite get. Not scary. Now, the guy at IGN must have been fucking Rambo. Because if you play this game with headphones, loud headphones, and in the dark, you're gonna get fucking shit scared. I don't care who the fuck you are. Psychologically, this game is draining. I couldn't go, I couldn't play for longer than an hour without fucking losing my mind. I had to stop. So to say that it's not scary is beyond me and beyond belief. 5.8 is a wrong score, I think. I'm a horror movie buff, yeah? And I know my scares. But this game had something that I haven't felt in a long time, which is the sense of alone and the sense of dread you actually did feel like you were alone in that mansion and you did feel like you were trapped and the house was playing games with you which in turn it was uh, essentially we had a guy who was a bit psychopathic and he was obsessed with painting but because he was well he was possessed by a demonic uh, presence i'm not gonna get into that on a psychological level this game is beyond anything i have played uh it really did affect me, and I think that uh, people who are going by other reviews really need to give this a think and really need to get in there and just try it out for yourself. I really, really enjoyed the game, and I can't wait to get into the DLC, and I'm going to record it for you guys, so you're going to have that. You're going to have me back at, uh, at the mansion. Uh, I think the DLC is mostly aimed um, at the story uh, of the child, the girl in the, um, in the family. I didn't really get into the... Uh, details of what happened to her afterwards i really enjoy laser fear i think it is one of the most uh, amazing psychological horror experiences i do recommend it to anyone who's a horror horror fanatic to give it a go uh, i don't think you'll be disappointed the yeah it does get repetitive towards the end but wear your headphones wear them loud play in the dark and get really immersed in this game because it does pull you in and you just have to let it you have to let it pull you in so uh, that's it from me, guys. I'm Excessive Brutality. This is Excessive Gamer. Giving you my two cents on Laser Fear. I Bluebird Team.